Just about mid-September when the hummingbirds head south, the winds begin to shift and, and it's time to cozy up the cottage for fall. I'm gonna share today one of my favorite new little projects that I created to add a fun fall touch to our cottage. With a few simple supplies, we're going to create some really, really cute mushroom decor. I start by taking some regular aluminum foil and cut a strip about eight inches wide. Then tear that strip in half so you have roughly an eight inch square. Begin to roll the foil loosely inward to form a circle shape. You want to continue to loosely roll the foil into the center to create a roughly a two inch cap for the mushroom. As you get closer to the center, you can pinch it in a little bit more and compress the sides to create that round cap shape. For the stem, tear off a three to four inch piece of foil and then loosely roll it into a cylinder shape and compress that also at the end and fold over the top so that you have a little bit of a surface to glue up into the cap. Now you have a nice structured base um, on which to mold your air dry clay. To form my mushrooms, I'm using IOG's air dry clay. I want to grab a lump of clay and roll it into about a golf ball shape size. Then flatten it into a little pancake shape and begin to form that clay over the cap of the mushroom, pressing and shaping and shifting the clay down around the cap. You want to manipulate that clay so that you have a very generous amount to turn over the edge of the underside of the cap. And then when you reach that underside, Cover the underside of the cap and then continue to mold and press the excess clay down around the stem. I continue to move that clay down the stem and I'm also shaping the cap in the palm of my hand as well at the same time. And now I want to create those little gill things that are on a mushroom. So I just pinch a little bit of that clay under the cap and on the stem using my fingers to make that little ruffle gill. Continue to cover all of the foil armature so that you don't have any foils showing. Uh, while the clay is soft, you can easily move it around and shape it and cover those areas that you need to. Then I flatten out the underside of the cap with my fingernail. I also use a paintbrush handle or any kind of a round pencil object, something like that, to um, add any additional shaping that I need to. I use a stylus to create the gills of my mushroom, but you can use a fork or um, a palette knife, any kind of a straight uh, edge. 
feel like it was long ago We were head over heels in love Thought it lasts forever But somehow we got lost Looking back I didn't realize What was wrong with me I can't deny I took you for granted Now let the mushrooms dry overnight or until they're completely hardened off and dry. Now let's finish those mushrooms. I use Fusions Fort York Red to uh, paint the caps of my mushrooms, applying as many coats as I need to for complete coverage. For the next step, I mixed a glaze using DIY's clear liquid patina and some brown paint. I used Fusion's Oakum. You'll find all of the supplies that I used in the description box below, and you can find them all on lnjgoods.com. Brush the glaze mixture over the stem and gills of the mushroom. With a damp cloth, wipe away any excess glaze, allowing the glaze to settle into the deep grooves and the texture of the mushroom stem. Use white paint to apply some random spots on the caps of the mushrooms. If you're going to use your mushrooms as ornaments or to string on a garland, screw in an 8mm screw eye. I also created another little mushroom without the foil armature by just shaping a stem and a cap out of the air dry clay. Flatten the top edge of the stem so that the cap has a place to rest and then I use a toothpick to hold them together and let those dry completely overnight. When these little mushrooms were dry, I painted the caps in assorted neutral colors and glazed them just like I did the red capped mushrooms. I applied a clear matte sealer over the entire mushroom to protect them. This is where you could also get super fancy and add a little bit of glitter to the top of them as well. I'm going to string a garland of my mushrooms. So I just used a length of jute twine and tied it off on each of the eyelets, spacing my mushrooms apart about four inches. You don't have to be I 
I like to decorate my neutral cottage for fall with a lot of natural textures and um, natural elements, but I think this is going to be fun this year to add just that little pop of mushroom red garland to my fireplace mantle. I promise you, you are not going to be able to stop making these cute little clay mushrooms with IOD air dry clay. You can pop them in a wreath, gather a little collection of them underneath a glass cloche, or use them in your favorite woodland themed Christmas tree. As always, we appreciate you watching so much. Don't forget to go ahead and click that subscribe button and leave us a comment below. Let us know what kind of projects you want to see next from Ellen J. Goods.